crazy unstable weather today. At first it would be lightly raining and then it just starts pouring and then it stops again. There is a bunch of weather warning too. Like what? It says here, southeast winds of 70 to 90 kilometers an hour with gusts, potentially exceeding 100 kilometers an hour around the North Vancouver Island area. It's not too far away, but is it actually crazy for people that are on the island? Not ideal flying weather today. Although with that in mind, it seemed like most of the stuff I read was about things flying. How about this one here? This one says, meet the Jetson 1. Jetson 1 is an ultralight and extremely fun to fly, recreational, all electric, personal, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Like, is that named Jetson because of the cartoon where everyone's asking, where's our flying cars? It says, our mission is to make the skies available for everyone with our safe, personal, electric aerial vehicle. Are you ready to experience a completely new and exciting way of travel? Is this one of those ironic things where, like they say in some places, ultra light aircraft, you can fly it with no licensing or anything like that, yet flying things like a toy drone, they treat it so serious? And it says here, safety is our number one priority. It says race car inspired space frame safety cell design. I've seen stuff like this before in other places, but yeah, they are taking pre-orders and stuff like that. And it makes you wonder who would actually buy this? Imagine having this like they show you here, I guess in the front of the house, start and land anywhere you want. And it says for the tech specs, the Jetson weight is about 86 kilograms, maximum pilot weight, 95 kilograms or 210 pounds. And how much does this thing cost? It says a complete vehicle is 92,000 US and it's delivered to you as a partially 50% assembled kit for home completion. It contains everything you need from the aluminum space frame to motor controllers, propellers and motors. You will also receive detailed build instructions. But you can see, I guess, in their site, they're showing you how many people actually pre-ordered it. It says about 12 people so far. Would you actually try something like this for that price? I don't know if that's technically true. Take off and land anywhere you want. I don't think you just, just all of a sudden say, oh, I wanna fly around the airport with this all of a sudden as an example. And then there was this one, it almost looked very CG-ish. It says, Xpeng 1024 Tech Day unveils smart EV technologies and mobility ecosystem. Xpilot 4.0 full scenario advanced driver assistance to roll out in 1H 2023. A high voltage supercharging technology significantly boosts charging power and efficiency. Unveils the design of the next generation flying car, showcasing fly and drive conversion. And they even say our mission is to progressively transition from advanced driver assistance to full autonomous driving with a clear roadmap to connect all driving scenarios. Like they say full driving, but do they mean flying as well? It's <laughs> according to these videos and stuff that they're showing. Would people actually feel comfortable using this? Again, everything looks like a CG, I believe anyways. I mean, someone can say otherwise if they know. And with that in mind, a lot of places are really pushing for, I guess, drones and stuff to take off, whereas some people, they're restricting them with over-the-top regulations and all that. This one says, PM wants drones to deliver postal packages to remote areas, Garuda Aerospace. It's kind of interesting too, because according to this, it seemed like, I guess, the person who runs like the company or whatever, actually spoke to the Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, and apparently he seemed really savvy or keen about the idea. It says here, quote, well informed about drone usage, Modi wants drones to connect to the remote areas of the country. Apart from delivery of medicines and others to people living in remote places, he also said drones could also deliver postal packages to them. I was astonished over how hands-on he was on drones. He was keen on knowing the industry's reaction to the recent policy initiatives. I said India will become the drone capital of the world soon. The Prime Minister also says the services offered by drones should be affordable, he added. I guess that's one place that are embracing it versus some other places where they are actually just fear mongering it and so forth. I would imagine that would be the place that has the most innovations. It has the balance between quote actual real safety and allowing people to actually use the stuff. Squirrels here to see something that I don't. <laughs> Looks like the rain stopped for a bit.
Alright, see you guys later.